Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 64 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Full stack of episodes today, that's what's up. Uh, so hey, we're playing with Elemental Craft, which is so far pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm enjoying it so far, I really am. It's neat. Um, so we found some elements in the world, uh, specifically we went to the mining dimension because they seemed pretty easy to find here. Uh, so there's an example one, it's a fire element. You can uh, use an element extractor uh, to, to, to suck that stuff out, uh, store it inside of a tank, and then you can transfer it to a tank and use the element uh, to, to make stuff. So in this case, I'm crafting burnt glass out of glass, and I used laser IO for a little bit of automation here just to make life a smidge easier on me. Uh, so in today's episode, we're going to explore some more aspects of elemental craft. Uh, we unlocked, by making uh, our next element container here, a ton of stuff. And we're going to look through what they all are now. Now, I did quickly look through the basics here. Uh, there's element holders, which look like items that can hold elements. Seems pretty straightforward enough. Um, there are cover frames, which look like, you know, you can you can make some cool stuff there for pipes. Uh, cover frame. Uh, so I guess we make one of these and then we could put it on the pipe. Oh, hello. And then do. do. Oh, hello. Sweet. That's neat. I like that. Okay. The only downside, obviously, is that, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's a lot faster of a drain. That is cool. Look at that. I like it. Man, this mod, uh, there's some cool stuff going on here, I'm just going to say. Uh, I did set up auto crafting for the, the second tier of pipes between episodes, or maybe I did that right at the end of the last one. I kind of forget. But, you know. We're in good shape here. So let's start flipping through and learning together. There's also a spell desk, which we'll definitely look at because uh, it lets you craft spells. Uh, and I assume once I make one of those, it's going to open up one of these chapters that's still locked called spells. We'll find out what the deal is. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more content in this mod than I at first thought might be in here. Let's look at more instruments and then we'll probably take a look at spells to say uh, we'll see how far we get. I don't know. We're going to just kind of play this by ear as usual. Uh, so element binders. The binder is one of the most important instruments. It channels elements to combine multiple items together. Be careful because the order in which you put items in is important. You need to put them clockwise from the top. As for any other instruments, the binder needs to be on top of a container, but not a small container. Okay, uh, so we can make a binder, which seems pretty cool. There's an element binder, and then there's an improved version, which I'm sure we'll get to at some point. Now you need to go into uh, a container, okay? So I'm gonna start with you here-ish, and then you go on top, nice. Okay, uh, so binder. I'm assuming that there's... Ah, so they have to go in clockwise starting from the top. So if you want to make this thing, it goes this and then 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 this and that'll make one of those. Okay. That's kind of different. So we're going to absolutely need to, if we if we ever need to automate any of these, it might be, you know, a bit of work. But we'll figure it out. I'm sure we can come up with something. That's cool. Look at all this neat stuff. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff for sure. Okay, gem crystallizer allows you to infuse the power of a single crystal to a diamond to create an elemental gem. There are three qualities of gems, crude, fine, and pristine. To use it, place the diamond first, then the crystal, and finally up to 10 shards to increase the chance of a better quality gem. Okay, that needs a strongly contained crystal and some swift alloys, which I haven't seen us make yet. Swift alloys? Assuming that's a thing that is made in the elemental binder. Okay, so something we're going to need to automate then for sure for sure Okay, so we're gonna have to think about how we're going to Automate that properly. I think I have an idea or two on something that might work. I have an idea or two Air mill grindstone the item air, well, mill grindstone, allows you to grind down items like stone to gravel as for any other instruments. The air mill grindstone needs to be on top of a container, but not a small container. It consumes air. Okay.
So yeah, okay. Nothing particularly cool about that guy. Let's make sure that we're tracking these things and what we want to do. Gem crystallizer. So I want to understand what they do before we start making them. The rune inscriber is used to create runes, maybe advanced runes. Uh, at the difference of other instruments, it needs to be right-clicked multiple times with a rune inscriber chisel to operate. Okay, rune inscriber. These are the things we're gonna be checking out today for sure. I don't know all of them. Uh, smelts items by using fire element instead of fuel. Okay, well, that's cool. It consumes fire. Neat. Improved element extractor. Oh, hello there. Uh, as an advanced version extractor, extracts elements faster. Uh, it needs to be on top of a container, but not a small container. I like this. Let's make one of these for sure. Let's definitely make some improved element extractors. Okay. Uh, and if we want to make those, we're going to need swift alloys and pure crystals, which needs a pure infusion. Oh, my. Pure infuser. Is that something we're about to learn about? Or infuser or purifier. Oh, we'll see. Takes ores and purify them to create pure ores at the ratio of one to two. You can then smelt them into ingots and A furnaces. Okay. Consumes earth, so that's ore doubling. Okay. Element reservoirs is an advanced element storage for more elements than the container. It is compatible with all instruments, but there are it's four different versions for each of the four elements. Okay. And then the improved element binder works like the binder and infuser, meaning it can do either binding or infusion at a faster rate. As for other instruments, uh, it can be on top of a container. Okay. Well, that's cool beans. Oh my, there's lots more things here. Binding is done by right clicking the binder with all the ingredients in the correct order. Correct. Pure Infuser is the most powerful crafting tool. It uses pedestals to channel all four elements into a single item. To operate, it needs to be circled with each of the four pedestals, each being provided with the correct element using improved pipes. Once this setup is done, you can start crafting by putting the correct ingredient on each pedestal and the main one on the ore infuser. Okay. So that's cool. We should definitely get one of those pure infusers. That looks like uh, some kind of crafting mechanic there. And then shrines are powerful tools that channel elements in the world around them to act on. Okay. Well, we're going to absolutely want to check those out. Neato. All right, let's start with, I really want that faster infuser doohickey. So let's get the pure infuser so we can make that, right? Because the goal is this, improved element extractor. This is what I want to get. So in order to get this, we're going to need a swift alloy ingot and pure crystals. So swift alloy ingots are going to need elemental binders with air in them, a medium amount of air. So let's get an elemental container. Yeah, I can type. Okay. Uh, let's go to our air guy, which I think is over here by this dude, right? This was like the nearest air that I found. If I whack you, can I do this? Sweet. Uh, and then I'm just going to have you do this. Zoo. Goodbye. Cool. And then you're going to fill up with air, presumably. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking I want at least three more of these dudes. Because maybe we just want all of our guys to have them. All the all the different elements. So like, let's stop using the tiny things. And instead use the big things. Is that cool? I think that's cool. I mean, me personally, I think that's super cool. And then the same for water. Now, granted, the water, we have, you know, the second one being that. Should we do that for all of them? I mean, sure. Why not? Shouldn't be too big of a deal to change that out, right? 
Okay. And then what I might do is just help you drain out here. Sweet. Okay, perfect. Okay. Drain that out. Drain that out. Okay. And then we want our elemental infuser back on there. And that should be cool beans. So now we have basically lots and lots of this storage stuff that we want, right? So you're good. You could use another drainer. I just want to consolidate all my elements real quick. And these guys will now all have a decent amount of storage. What's in you? Can you not stack? Mm, yeah. There you go. And then you guys are good, right? So two of the, the green, two big ones at blue, two big ones at red. And we will shortly have two big ones at yellow. I don't think I've done any yellow crafting yet, so that makes that a little bit easier. Cool. And then there's apparently even faster pipes, right? These are basic. There's an improved version, but we'll deal with that in a bit. So, sweet. Okay. So now what we want to get is the swift alloy ingot. So for that, we're going to need an elemental bind error, right? And that's... Is that what I made here? Elemental binder. Okay, cool. So what we're going to want is air under it. Okay. And we need a decent amount of air in order to get the swift alloy ingot, from what I understand. Medium amount, whatever that means. I don't know. Let's try getting this dude. Let's see what, what we've got so far over here. We got some. I wonder if, uh, I mean, is now a good time to test this? Do you think that's doing anything? I can't quite tell. It seems to me like the answer is no. Maybe, maybe, because we're, we're net gaining on this guy right now. So I'm going to say yes, it is actually doing something. Okay, that's cool. Just because Dyer's impatient, you know how it is. You know how it be. Dyer's impatient. So what I'd like to see is this now all drain into there. Can't tell if that's doing much, but it doesn't hurt to try. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll take this full container. Right. So that's probably full now. Let's put an empty one here. So these will be our generators. Right. And then we can migrate this over to here. And you're going to get the air. So your primary focus at this point will be to get air. I don't think I need whatever this is. Water? Okay. Um, you're going to get the element pipe. Let's get a... Yeah, the good element pipe. Sweet. And then you're going to fill up. And now you're ready to go. So if I want to make this, right, this is the recipe we're looking at. Okay. And that is gold... Drenched iron, copper, redstone, air crystal. Okay, so that's cool. So if I want air crystals, we're going to want some inert crystals, and we're going to want to set up the laser IO automation with this guy, with an infuser. Okay, and now you've got a decent amount of air in there. Not a ton, but enough. And nodes. And then on the down, you will extract inner crystals. And then on the down, you will stock air crystals. 64. Okay. And then insert card and then get your inner crystals. 
Cool. And then you'll be making air crystals for me. Beautiful. I like it. Works for me. Now, remember, the order at which we insert these is going to matter. So let's see if we can make this smartish. You ready? You ready for smartness? I think I can do this with laser IO if I'm a little bit smart about it. So let's do a redstone card here, okay, on the white input. Okay. And then I want you to stock items. In stock mode, I happen to know because I wrote the code, it should iterate the list in order of items placed in, okay? So let's go with the recipe, which is, remember, uh, we want gold, drenched iron, copper, redstone, air crystal, right? So gold ingot, drenched iron ingot, copper ingot, Redstone and air crystal. Okay, and we want one of each, but I only want you to run when you have the high signal. Okay, so then in theory, in theory, okay, that should be cool. Now on the down, we're going to want you to be an insert, and then how about on this side, we will have you extract, and you will do whatever this thing is called, swift alloy ingot. And this might work. We'll see. Okay. And then on the down, yeah, that should be cool. All right. So let's get half a stack of each. Now we're going to need more drenched. That shouldn't be a problem, thanks to ye old automation that I did. Though, in fairness, I could have put more iron ingots in here. Half a stack of each should be cool. Copper, we'll get half a stack. Redstone, half a stack. And those air dudes, which we might have half a stack by now. I don't know. Exactly half a stack. Exactly had just enough. Okay. So, in theory, what should happen is this should insert these items in this order. Because what it's going to do is it goes through the list in order. I think. Pretty sure this is how I wrote it. And it should say, do you have enough gold? No. Work on finding gold. Do you have enough drenched iron? No. Work on finding... And da -da -da. Um, Now, it won't wait for drenched iron before inserting gold and copper and redstone. So if you put these in uh, a bit at a time, but not all at once, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem. But I know that refined storage puts everything in all at once. So it should be cool. So let's do this. If I, now remember the stalker is set to require a redstone signal on channel zero, which is what this is for. So see, boop, 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 boop. So if I put these in, in like a random miscellaneous order, and then we did this. Will this work? Gold. Oh my goodness, it's working. And then if I... He worked. My goodness gracious, it did work. That is cool. I mean, it kind of worked. Gold, and then redstone signal off, and now you're infusing, and then you're cool. <gasps> it works. That is cool beans. And if I just leave you on, it should perpetually work. Okay, so I see what happened. I think it's putting the gold in before um, the extract is complete. So I see that, and here's how we're gonna solve that. Um, I think if we have you guys swapped so that you always run first, and we get some speed upgrades or overclockers, 
Okay. Uh, and I know we're going to want four of each so that you can come down to one and that you can come down to one. So every tick he's going to run, the first thing he's going to try to do is item extract, and then the second thing he's going to do is try and stock. Okay? So let's see if that solves our problem. Boom. You're infusing. Boom. You're infusing. Eh? Not too shabby. Laser IO to the rescue. How cool is that? I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty down with that. I think that's pretty spiffy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now we're getting swift alloy ingots. That's cool. That's, that works. Now, like I said, if you're, if you're missing an ingredient, it's not smart enough to detect that. Yet. I have plans. They're just not, not there yet. But we'll, yeah, we'll get there. And just like that, we have 32 Swift Alloy Ingots. Sweet! <laughs> Which, by the way, unlock new chapters. Dude, I love when I, I love when I get to automate things. It's super fun, right? Isn't it super fun? Um, so that is cool. So that's that. And now we need pure crystals, which is going to be pure infusion. So it looks like we need one of each crystal type around a diamond and a decent amount of each thing. So pure infuser needs two of those. So you're gonna need an element infuser, and then you're gonna need a strongly contained crystal, which is going to need swift alloy nuggets and springaline shards, which is an element binding of amethyst shard, quartz, and water crystal. Aha, aha, that's a thing. Okay, today we learned. So let's do this. If I were to take you, and we set you to d, 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 inserting, extracting, zoinks out, right? Yes, transferring out or no, transferring out. You would think that would work, right? Shouldn't that work? Oh yeah, it's working. We just need better pipes. Hey, what are, what are those best pipes from Elemental? Isn't that uh improved element pipes? Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Sweet. Okay. There you go. You're definitely moving, just not super fast. But that maybe just has a lot of, you know, air in it or whatever. I feel like there's still a pixel there. Am I crazy? Now I think it's cleared out. Okay, cool. I just have to assume there's a lot of air and stuff in there. So now if we go snagged a water, one of these guys. So I'm like, part of me. Oh, are you not? Okay, yeah, that's my bad. That's on me. That's on me right there. I forgot to set that up properly. But let's get another. Ah, I see. You need to re-extract. Got it. Got it. Okay, and then you're cool. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so then you're probably both going to be in the same boat with that. Yes, you are. With an extractor. And then you're set to extract. Okay, cool. Extracting and going. Same with fire, I assume. Yep, nice and full fire node. Super cool. Boom, boom, boom. And then same uh, air, probably not the same deal, but that's okay. We have a some semblance of air going on here. So you're uh, yeah, you're just you're just filling up now. Okay, we'll get there with the air. Air is a little bit behind all the all the others, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna set up now is let's put water. I think is what we needed for this one. Right, so if I do that, you should be getting water now, which is cool, okay? 
And then if we want springling shards, it's amethyst, quartz, and water crystal in that order, right? So amethyst, quartz, and water crystal. Let's go teach water crystal to this automation. So on the down inert crystal, and on the down stock water crystal, 64. Don't ask me why I can't spell inert. I don't have to answer your questions, sir. Yeah, so he's gonna do that. Unless I just take my iron out. So what I'll probably wanna do is make this like a craft and refined storage kind of deal, where like insert this, get that out kind of deal, and that would probably work pretty well. Now, there's another approach we can do to this. So there's two ways we could handle this thing now, right? What we could do is just add to the list and do amethyst shard, quartz, water crystal. And this should work. So if I turn you off and we do three, three, and three, and then your extractor should be doing springling. That works. I believe that is working. That absolutely works. How cool is that? Right? And then we take our springling shards, and instead of this, we do this. And then we transfer all the water back into its tank. Cool? All right. So now we know how to make springling shards, and we can make strongly contained crystals. Except we don't want to make strongly contained crystals because we need four of them. But let's get some more of this stuff. 15 sounds like a number that I can live with. Boom. Okay. Now we can get a strongly contained crystal. Provided I give you one of these. And that's how we'll get a pure infuser. Cool. Now, my understanding of this is we're going to need what? The pure infuser. That was, we need four of each thing, right? Now, are those actual pedestals? The pure infuser is the most powerful. It uses pedestals to channel all four elements into a single item. To operate, it needs to be circled with each of the four pedestals, each being provided with the correct element using improved pipes. So we need pedestals times four. Oh, we need we need one of each pedestal. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, this is definitely a thing. Uh, so you're gonna need an infuser, a pristine fire gem. Okay, or a fine fire gem. And that's the gem crystallization process. Got it, got it. Where did I put that gem crystallizer? Oh, we're gonna need another strongly contained. Gem crystallizer. Okay. And that's cool. And then remind me how that one worked. Infuse the power of a single crystal to a diamond to create an elemental gem. There are three qualities. If you place, to use, place the diamond first and then the crystal, and finally up to 10 shards to increase the chance of a better quality gem. So does that have to be on top of a tank? It looks like it does. It does look like it does. Okay, 
So let's do water first, because that's what we currently have. So what I could do is I could uh, turn you off for a sec. I can just replace you with the gem crystallizer. Maybe. And then, so we're going to want a diamond. And then what we're going to want is water shards. And then what? How do we start crafting it? Uh, yeah. Maybe a redstone signal? When in doubt, that's always a good thing to try. Nope. Uh, crude water gem. Oh, that's cool. You can kind of put them back in, and then there's a chance that you'll get a better one. So it's medium amount of water in an elemental container with a gem crystallizer. Right? And then raw water shard, water gem. That was not the correct option. Fifth right click? Nope, definitely not correct. Gotta be something I'm doing wrong, right? Place the diamond first, then the crystal, and finally... Oh, wait, a crystal. What crystal? A single crystal. Am I missing a crystal? Oh, I need a water crystal. Got it. That's what I missed. It's 100% what I missed. So diamond, crystal, and then 10 shards. Diamond, crystal, 10 shards. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. And I think we need a fine one in order to make this pedestal thing. Oh, and that's what we got. Sweet. Okay, cool. Now you can extract and insert. And now let's make an air one. Right? All right, so now you're filling up with air, and we're going to do a similar dude, right? Air crystal. I don't know if we have an. Uh, do we have air crystals being made over here? We did, didn't we? I think that's something that we set up already. Some of them we did, some of them we didn't. And I'm already forgetting which one's which. But air crystals, yes. Sweet. Okay. So air shards with a diamond and an air crystal. That should be all we need to do. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Uh, we'll do more with this stuff because it is super fun. And uh, we'll see, you know, what 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 comes next because there's a bunch of cool stuff here and I'm really enjoying checking out just the basics. Oh, we got a pure one. That's cool. Or a pristine one. That's super cool. All right, so now let's kick you guys back to extracty mode. Okay, so you start doing that. And then what I'll do is probably, I should put this above is what I should do. If I did that, oh. okay. Then down up. This is why I wanted the card system. So it was easy to change stuff without, you know, having to read like all the settings and everything that were in here. Not that there was a lot here, but still convenient, right? Nonetheless. Uh, and then we can do things with like, you know, fire and everybody else, right? So we'll do fire next more than likely. 
Uh, we'll have the improved elements here getting piped in, and we'll do fire shards. Deal? Okay. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Let's take um, take out the excess glass so we can do this. And yeah, like I said, we're going to wrap up the episode. So for now, Doll 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come back next time, uh, as promised. And enjoy playing more of this mod. Because like I said, super fun, right? How cool is this mod? So then down here, fire crystal. 64. Beautiful. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just having trouble tearing myself away because I'm really enjoying this. Did I put my diamonds away? Is that what I did? And then powerful fire shards. Sweet. Let's see what we get here. Come on, no whammies. Works for me, as long as it's a fine one. And then this is what we wind up. Oh, that sounds fun. It does sound fun, right? But that's what we're going to need for the fire pedestal, right? It's either pristine or a fine. Cool. All right. Take it easy.